Hello, in this video I'm going to show you the All Powers S300 power station and the All Powers 100 watt flexible solar panel. Now, although I've pressed paid promotion on this video, I didn't get paid for it, but they did send me the items for free. But later on in the video, I'm going to be giving away the power station, so stay tuned to see how you can win this. Right, so we'll get onto the solar panel later in the video, but let's get this unboxed and show you what's inside. The unit is very well packed. It also came in an outer box when it was delivered and all the details are on the back. I'll put a screenshot now so you can read that if you want to pause the video. Okay, so what comes in the box? The instruction booklet, a nice little bag, which has got your 240 power supply in. Now it is a brick supply, it just plugs in like that and then it plugs into the input socket which I'll show you on the unit. Unit itself is very small, it's about the size of two house bricks to get you some sort of perspective and it weighs three and a half kilos. Okay so the unit itself has two 230 volt outlets, a Bluetooth switch, a DC switch, an AC switch, your display and two lights. We'll get onto these later. I'm just showing you the overview. On the side, you've got a USB-C and three USB-A's. And you've also got two normal DC outputs there. There's nothing on the back. On the other side, you've got your input. That's AC and DC. So your power brick will plug into there as will your solar panel and then you've got your Anderson style socket for solar input as well and then you've got your normal we'll call cigarette lighter output on the top this unit su supports wireless charging and it's got a carry handle as well and it's got a comfort bar underneath it so it's quite quite sturdy and easy to carry as I say it's only about three and a half kilos you can see on the side you've got your fan holes on both sides and there are also some on the bottom of this so you need to be careful that you're going to place it on a flat surface and don't restrict the airflow underneath. The unit itself is badged as 288 watt hours and will use anything up to 300 watts or 500 watts peak if you're using it on the 230. Right so the unit itself is 288 watt hours. Now, although that would theoretically suggest you could run something that is 288 watts for an hour, you're not going to be able to do that because there is a slight power loss in the fact that it's running the inverter and it's running a fan whenever it's on AC. As a typical guide, we did a test earlier in the month, I've had this for a while on test, and earlier in the month we ran a 90 watt TV and it only ran for two and a half hours. So that would suggest around 230 watt hours maybe out of the 288. So be aware, the unit itself, although it can pull 300 watts as advised and 500 watts peak, it's not the type of unit that you're gonna be wanting to use to run something that's high wattage. It really does suit charging a laptop or an iPad or something like that. But however, as I said, it will run a 90 watt, 100 watt item, even a 300 watt item, but it's not really built for that type of thing. So be wary, if you're gonna buy a small power bank like this, you need to know what you're gonna use it for. Okay, so the unit has got a really great feature. It's Bluetooth capability that you can download an app for. So if you go onto your own app store, download the All Powers app, you can then remotely use all of the output sockets on this. So let me just show you. Turn the lights on and off. Turn the DC sockets on and off and the AC sockets on and off. Now you'll note as soon as the AC sockets come on there's a little bit of fan noise and it's off again. So I think that's a really good feature. You could have this hidden away in a cupboard and remotely turn things on and off without actually leaning in and getting to the unit. Okay so as I've said we've been using this now for about a month. I'm going to insert some stock footage of us using it for different scenarios, charging it, recharging it, you get the idea, just to show you what it's capable of. Okay, so the battery is totally flat and 
we've got it charging. The maximum it will take in is around 60 watts. You can see it's just climbing now. And the, the clock at the side, I think that's it working out how long it's gonna to take to charge. It actually continues charging for a while when it says 100 if the lights are flashing and uh, eventually stops at five and a half hours that took to completely charge. So a first little test. We're gonna run the TV in the house off this. It's fully charged at 100% when we turned it on. It's already dropped to 99. House TV pulls 91 watts and it's hovering around two hours. As you can probably hear, the fan runs all the time on this and it is fairly noisy. Right, so we're charging the camera, the iPad, and the little booster battery I have on the camera. And what are we pulling? 19 watts running three USBs. So it's perfect for stuff like this. I mean, it says it'll run for over nine hours, look. Right, so just to show you, we've got the telly on. Running off the DC. So it's running a fire stick and the TV, and it's only pulling seven watts. So that says it'll run for 21 hours at that. So the unit does incorporate through charging. We've got a mobile phone charging as the unit's being charged itself. Right, so moving on to the solar panel itself. This also came packed in a box, but for the sake of me transporting it with us this weekend, I've left the box at home. You can see it's a really nice weatherproof bag, really, I suppose. And then on the back, You've got a pouch with all your wiring in. So, instruction book, your solar wires to an Anderson style socket, your solar wires to the normal DC input on the unit itself, and then plenty of conversion leads that you can plug into that. Now, a good feature with this is you can actually run stuff straight off this panel. So a laptop, for example, will plug straight into the panel and providing you've got enough sunshine, you can actually use this as a power source. So I think that's really good. So again, I've got some stock footage of this in use, charging the unit, set up so that you can see how it looks when it's unpacked. But basically, if I just zip that back up, these fold out to become your legs, one on each side. And then you basically unclick the unit itself and there's the panel. Right, so there's the solar panel folded out. You can see it's just a two section panel. Um, supports itself on its own stand. There's some legs at the back. Right, so that's the panel from the back. Just showing you how the legs support it. So there's the input socket. You can see it's the same input socket that you use for the DC and for the AC. When it's receiving watts from the DC side, you can put in up to 80. So although this panel is 100 watts, it's only gonna get a maximum of 80 watts in. With the AC side, it only puts in about 60. So if you've got the sun, it'll charge faster through the solar. There is an option as well to charge through this Anderson style socket. Again, that'll only put in about 80, but you can combine the two so if you're on DC, you can go in through the USB-C and the DC input around the other side, and it will take up to 140 watts in. All right, so here's the part you've been waiting for. How are you gonna win this item? If you look in the comments section below the video, you'll see all the details on how to enter the competition. But what I would like from you is a like for the video, subscribe, and leave a comment exactly as it says in the description below. There's also a code and all the links to the All Power site to get you a discount off this item. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on another one.